News late tonight, city leaders accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars to keep your family safe when Charlotte hosts some big events in the near future. Ian, and the, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Foundation giving the city $255,000 to purchase vehicle barriers to keep pedestrians and officers safe during large scale events like the Republican National Convention. This coming after a disturbing trend of terror attacks using vehicles as weapons in cities like Barcelona, London, Sweden, again in England and in France, where a 20 ton truck was used to run over hundreds, killing 84. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown joining us now with our top story. In just three months, the city will welcome thousands of people as it hosts the NBA All-Star Game. And then next year, thousands more for the Republican National Convention. Police say they want to make sure they're ready. Charlottesville, Virginia, Las Vegas, and as far away as France. Haunting videos showing drivers deliberately plow into crowds of people, using their vehicles as a weapon for murder. Across the world, when we start looking at attacks on uh, large groups of individuals, large groups of people at gatherings, uh, a lot of these attacks are being uh, uh, done by, via vehicles nowadays. It is a constant worry for CMPD, especially as the Queen City gears up for the 2019 All-Star Game and the Republican National National Convention in 2020. We want everybody to be able to enjoy festivals and parades and events that we have. So the CMPD Foundation is working proactively, raising $255,000 to fund safety programs and to purchase vehicle mitigation barriers. We have a motion. To the city accepted that items. donation Monday night. All in favor say aye. aye. This is a prototype from AML Risk Management. And you see how that will dig into the vehicle. They're designed to stop any vehicle attempted to roll on top of them. And then this other end that's right here will dig into the pavement. And they are stationary, allowing for access lanes if an emergency vehicle needs to get through. While CMPD hopes these horrifying attacks don't happen here, they say it would be irresponsible not to be prepared. As we continue to grow as a city, we're going to definitely need to grow as, as far as our security measures are in place. The next step will be figuring out how many barriers they'll be able to purchase. Police say those barriers should be here in place before the beginning of All Star Week on February 15th. Reporting in Uptown, Rachel Brown, NBC Charlotte. Upgrades in security. Rachel, thank you.